Yeah, so we've had now uh, new data from three large trials on aspirin for primary prevention, and it's really an eye-opener that it's not as good as we would have assumed. So, so many patients say, oh, I take a baby aspirin, and of course, if you've had any type of vascular event, an MI or a stroke, that that's been clearly beneficial. Uh, we know about bleeding risk from any antithrombotic, but the benefit far outweighs the risk in, in secondary prevention. But in primary prevention, the data are very old. Uh, there's a physician's health study, a nurse's health study that showed some benefit, but not a huge benefit, uh, really in the range of like 10 or 12 percent reduction in, in cardiovascular events. And a lot of that predated all the aggressive prevention with statins, et cetera. So there have been newer trials. Uh, Esprit looked at elderly patients, and then there was Arrive that looked at a broader group, and then uh, the Ascend trial looked in patients with diabetes. Um, the latter, a huge long-term trial, and that actually did show a benefit, again, about a 12% reduction, but uh, it was equally balanced by an increase in bleeding. So for every event prevented from heart attack or stroke, there was a bleed created. Now, it's probably worse to have a heart attack than have a GI bleed. So many of us had said, well, that does open the door for some patients, but we have to really balance the, the benefit and risk. In Esprit, they studied elderly patients, and there the, the risk was far outweighed the benefits, so there wasn't a significant reduction in cardiovascular events, and there was a very significant increase in bleeding with just a baby aspirin. So in the elderly, it's a, it's, there had been another study done in Japan in elderly patients also, same story, no benefit and big increased risk, like a doubling in the risk of bleeding. So it's a big caution for older patients, primary prevention to think about aspirin. And so all of this comes to being, this needs to be a careful decision on something seemingly as simple as taking an aspirin a day that we realize that we have to make that decision very carefully and are really moving away from it uh, in many populations.